Return to sender, unpacking the phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, return to sender. This expression is commonly used in postal services but has broader applications in everyday language. Let's explore its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your English conversations. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, this video is for you. The phrase, return to sender, is used to indicate that a piece of mail should be sent back to the person who originally sent it. This can happen for various reasons, such as the recipient's address being incorrect, the recipient refusing to accept it, or the recipient no longer living at the address. In a broader sense, it can metaphorically mean rejecting or refusing to accept something. The term, return to sender, has its roots in the postal system, where it is a formal instruction used to handle undeliverable mail. The postal services would mark an item with, return to sender, to indicate that the mail could not be delivered as addressed and that it should be returned to the address of the sender. Over time, this phrase has been adopted into everyday language to express the concept of rejection or sending something back to its origin. You can use, return to sender, in various contexts beyond the postal system. For example, in conversation, when someone offers you an opinion or negativity that you do not wish to accept, you might say, I'm returning that comment to sender. In writing, you can use it to express the rejection of an idea or proposal. Metaphorically, to indicate that you are refusing to accept a situation or an outcome, saying it does not apply to you or you wish it to be reversed. Let's see how, return to sender, can be used in sentences. The package I sent was undeliverable, so it was returned to sender. When she tried to spread rumors about me, I just returned them to sender. I don't accept negativity. The proposal did not meet our requirements, so we had to return it to the sender. Understanding the phrase, return to sender, can enrich your English vocabulary and help you navigate conversations more effectively, especially in situations where rejection or return is involved. We hope this video has been informative and adds value to your English learning journey. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use, return to sender, in your conversations when the occasion arises. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.